Today I want to do something a little bit different outside of just nutrition and working out. Today I want to give you my three must hikes in the Winnipeg area that you must do in the summer or winter. It's just a great way to get out, get steps, and get active. Starting with number one is Buns Creek. So Buns Creek is literally steps away from the gym. So if you did a workout, Make your way over to Buns Creek. You can even grab a coffee at Mountain Bean and you can start right off Henderson and you can walk all the way to Gateway. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes and there's even a small outdoor gym at the midway point. You'll see it when you get there. There's a play structure for kids to play on and there's actually a beautiful stream where I've seen like fish, I've seen turtles. It's just such a magical walk that 100% this is one of my top three hikes in the Winnipeg area. Number two is Whittier Park. And actually Whittier Park has a bunch of great mountain biking trails. And there's some like real trails that you wouldn't even think that are in Winnipeg. You'd think that you're in Vancouver. But outside of that, Whittier Park is one of my top three hikes that you can do in the city. It's centrally located. There's tons of parking there. It's just off down, it's just downtown. Like it's literally right near the fork. So if you go get a coffee or go get an ice cream at the forks, you can start there and make your way to Whittier Park. But if you're gonna drive there, there's plenty of street parking. And you can see the grounds of the Festival de Voyageur. Now what you would do is you would start at one end and you would walk along the river and you can see once you get kind of to the angle of where the red meets a little stream, it's kind of magical because you feel, I've been in different cities where we've done hikes and at, there's this point in the hike where the Red River meets another stream where I've seen this in like other big areas like, like Texas and it's just a beautiful sight to see. So then you continue on the path, you go under the train tracks where there could be a train like driving by, which is pretty cool. There's some real cool graffiti. It's a great place to take some selfies. So once you kind of get to the end of the Whittier Park, you're actually gonna get to the Provence like road there. So that's kind of the only disruption of the path is that once you get to the end of the, the Whittier Park is that you're gonna get to the Provence. You have to cross at the lights and then you can continue on. There's like a Dairy Queen there now and uh, one of my buddies has a gym there as well and you would continue on down the path and honestly, it feels like the trail never ends but it feels like you're literally in the spot. So if you get a chance, make Whittier Park one of your outdoor hikes this year. And number three is the Birds Hill Loop. Now, they do have some free weekends where you don't have to pay but if you have a park pass, which is about 40 to 50 bucks, it's worth it because you can make a complete day of it. There's beaches there, they have food stands, and even they have tennis courts. You can bring out your rollerblades, or if you're old school like me, you could bring out your roller skates. The paths are smooth, and there's tons of trails in that area. Now, the nice thing about the Birds Hill Loop, the one that I'm specifically talking about, is you would park at the West Beach, and then right there, you're just gonna see the path, and you'd go down the path, and it's gonna bring you near the furthest West Beach, where the volleyball courts are, but then you continue to walk and you go into the forest and you'll be passing the campsites as well. And there's even a cool section as you make your way back where there's like little birds in the trees. And if you bring bird seed, literally you can hold your hand out like this and they'll come and just eat right off your hand. It's, it's such a surreal experience. And the thing I like about this trail is that it's, it's super safe. Right? Like if you got a stroller, we've walked through there many times with the stroller. We've gone there in the winter where we're pulling kids on the sled. So it's super safe because people are either camping there or they're there to do walks exactly like you. So you, have to, you don't have to worry about any kind of mischievous activity. Um, you know, maybe, probably not bears. I never really see a bears in, in Birds Hill. But either way, safe, fun. It's a long trail and there's lots to see along the way. So there we have it guys, three ways that you can get active without actually going to the gym and you can get more steps while you're being outdoors and experiencing the beautiful atmosphere that we do have within the Winnipeg area. So give the video a like and let me know in the comment section of the three trails that I listed, which one is your favorite? Is it the Bunce Creek? Is it the Whittier Park? Or is it the Birds Hill Loop?